Hello children, welcome back to your science class. We have almost reached to an end to this chapter. But there is always a lot more to explore the nature. Now we are continuing chapter 9 of your NCRT textbook that is soil. Like in every class, let's have a quick recap of this chapter. We learned the importance of soil in the introduction, learned how soil has a great bond with life, what are different horizons of soil, different soil types, mainly which are uh, sand, clay, silt and loam, and the properties of soil, where we have theoretically learned certain activities to identify percolation rate of water in soil, moisture in soil and absorption of water by soil. Hope you have understood these concepts. So children, the more we recall, the more it is the revision of this chapter for us. You know right? How soil is formed? Yes by the process called weathering which is the breakdown of rocks by the action of wind, water and climatic factors including the human influence over several years of time. We can easily say the four important types of soil by now as we have already learned them. Yes, they are sandy soil, silt soil, clay soil and loamy soil. When we learn the soil profile, we learn different types of horizons and their characteristics. Now we will see what are the factors affecting soil profile. They are the wind due to which due to which soil is carried away sometimes rainfall which help the nutrients in soil reach the plants temperature light humidity etc climatic conditions the flora and fauna which are the plants and animals and the human movement influence the soil profile we have learned this in the very beginning of the chapter Coming to the study of soils in our country, are all the soil types available everywhere? No, they are distributed at different places due to the factors that are affecting the soil profile, which are the climatic conditions and the living beings influencing the uh, different types of soils that are being distributed over a large area of land in the country or on the entire planet. So here is the list of different soils available in India named after their distributed areas. So they are the alluvial soil, red soil, black soil, laterite soil, desert desert or arid soil, peaty or marshy soil, forest soil, mountain soil, tarai soil, saline and alkaline soil. This is only for your information purpose. These are the different types of soils that are distributed along all over the places in our country. They are named after where they are available. The place where they are available. Now, why are we again discussing all the information we have already learnt? Where do we apply this knowledge? What is the first thing that strikes your mind soon after you hear the word soil? Most probably we remember plants, crops, etc. Here we are learning in detail the relationship between soil and crops. As we know, Soil has humus and rock particles that help plants provide nutrients in their food preparation. 
children any number of uses there may be soil primary use should be for agriculture and growing plants and trees only all other uses come next always remember this children like the factors that affect the soil profile the same factors like the climatic factors and living organisms affect the ve vegetation or the plant growth also along with them uh, the soil components also affect the vegetation so here we have a list of types of soils and the suitable crops that can grow in that soil first let's let's see the crops that grow in sandy soil as you know sandy soil has less absorption capacity of water and holds plenty of air so only crops like cotton melon and coconut can be grown in sandy soils if some amount of water is available for good plant growth also uh certain crops like maize millets barley ca barley can also be grown in the desert soil i mean the sandy soil what is the famous plant that grows in the deserts yes we all know it that is the cactus next is the clay soils we know that they are good at water absorption usually rich in humus and that's why uh, they are fertile soil and maybe lesser than loamy soils less fertile than loamy soils but yet the clay soils are fertile for growing growing plant growth the suitable crops that grow in clay soils are the cereals like wheat gram and paddy you may also know clay soils are not only useful for growing crops but also for making toys pots etc now the loamy soil among all the soils the loamy soils are the best for growing crops hence they are called the agriculture soil which is the mixture of all the other three soils that are the sandy soil clay soil and silt soil that is why it can have a good water retaining capacity and also water draining capacity and that is why it is the ideal platform for growing most of the crops the suitable crops to grow in loamy soil are wheat lentils means dal uh, cotton sugar cane jute pulses and oil seeds usually cotton is best grown in sandy loamy soils that means the mixture of uh, e mostly equal amount of sand soil and also loamy soil mostly all kinds of vegetables are grown in loamy soils you might be getting a doubt what about silt soil we have learned about sand soil um clay soil and loamy soils for growing crops what about silt soil silt soil exclusively do not help in plant growth but it is always used in combination with other types of soils for a better vegetation you might have heard the word soil erosion yes yes let us learn and understand what is soil erosion soil erosion is mostly a naturally occurring process it is the wearing off means removing or moving off top soil of land due to wind water and climatic factors and also mostly nowadays it is due to human activities like tillage which means like digging overturning of soil done during cultivation and also jhum farming 
which is cutting down trees uh, and clearing the land and burning them to ash in a belief that they bring fertility to soil and then they grow the grow the crops due to these reasons the soil get eroded that means the soil get loosed up and this will be carried away due to the uh, climatic factors and the wind and uh, water moving wind and water let's learn what happens when soil erosion occurs why and how does it occur and what is the actual reason for soil erosion let us learn the uh, means let us understand and get our doubts cleared with this so if plants are not grown on the land the soil becomes loose it is moved to other places by moving wind and water soil erosion is mostly seen in deserts or bare lands mostly we see you no know, in the videos we watch uh, the sand uh, in the deserts usually easily gets raised up due to the wind so that is also can be called as soil erosion and in other places we see soil erosion because of not growing plants over that land therefore cutting of trees or deforestation is the main cause of soil erosion and it should be prevented and we should grow more plants to protect the environment so for today's class your activity is you will complete the given table in your notebook and you will fill the blank rows and columns given in the table in the first question after you understand today's topic that is soil and crops all you have to do is write the suitable crops that grow in that particular soil types also write down the other soil types in the second column just now you have learnt so you will also answer the other two questions given here which is what are the causes of soil erosion and what are the factors affecting soil profile so children um here we complete this chapter in the next class we will take a revision of this entire chapter thank you children